What's up guys, it's Bass and Bros here today. And it's just me today. I'm down here at uh, at my normal uh, smallmouth spot. And I'm gonna try to catch some uh, big smallmouths today. Hopefully uh, the weather's pretty warm. It's like supposed to get into the high 60s today. So hopefully that'll be on our side and uh, make the bass uh, kind of want to feed a little bit more because right now they're currently in the pre-spawn. And if you guys haven't already, uh, Go check out this unboxing video I did uh, last week on the channel. I feel like you guys will definitely like it. And yeah, uh, hopefully we can catch us some uh, some big fatties today. And if we can, that would be that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for almost getting us to uh, 100 subs. I really, really appreciate it. Maybe by the time this video is coming out, we will already be at uh, 100 subs. Because currently right now, I think we're at like 91. I want to say so we're we're getting there we're almost into the triple digits which i think is awesome i still can't believe it because we've only been doing this for about a month or so and yeah i can't thank you guys enough for the support you've given our channel and yeah uh let's see if we can get just some uh some uh fatties today see you in a second so i'm down here at my spot i fish a lot you guys have been around the channel for a while you know exactly where this is there's some carp break right there i don't know if you guys can see that but they are there i came here yesterday and i got skunked so we're gonna see about today hopefully today's a little bit better yeah that wind started to pick up a little bit more too It's not too bad though. It's only like, I think about four miles per hour is the max today. So it could always be worse. It could always be worse. Now, there was this one lake I went to. I don't know if you guys have noticed the new intro and outro, but it, that's where I went to go record it was that lake. Uh, Lake James, if any of you are from uh, North Carolina. And uh, yeah, the wind got so bad there that uh, the, the waves were going over my kayak. And I've been in that situation a few times. Uh, never down here before, but up there in like New England, like fishing Vermont and Maine, uh, that's whenever it would happen to me more because up there the wind I feel like it's stronger up there most of the time compared to like down here. I, I don't really know how true that is, but at least in my experience, it's, it's how it was. So, yeah, honestly, uh, I never had that happen before down here. And I'm just happy I didn't flip into the water because the water temp is probably like in the high 40s. Yeah, guys, if, uh, if you guys haven't already, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. For more content on the channel, we post three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And we're pretty we're pretty good about keeping that schedule. And you can follow us on Instagram at Bass and Burrows, and it's also uh, linked at the description down below, so you guys can go check that out. And yeah, it's a... Uh, it's been pretty fun. We're almost at a uh, 100 subscribers, which I still cannot believe. And maybe by the time you're seeing this, we might be at 100 because it'll probably be uh, about a week or so after I record this that it'll get up and uh, onto the channel for you guys to see. Because normally, like I say, like a week or two behind, you guys might have noticed that. Let's try to get it back over here in this corner right over here yeah that's very close that's why I was kind of wanting it that's where I caught a whole bunch of smallmouth the last time I was down here was 
over near uh, where the current picked up. Oop, do I got one? I think I do. Feels like I have. Yep, I do. It looks like it's kind of a pretty nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, I think he choked it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. There's a good smolly. Oh yeah. Thank you, buddy. So there we go, guys. So he's probably like a yeah, about a pound, two pounds. It's a pretty nice little fish. Caught this guy right here on the molten craw, 10th ounce finesse churns head. And yeah, it's a pretty nice fish. Let's get a good release on him. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get him back in the water. See you, buddy. And he's gone. Awesome. Let's see if we can catch some more. But the one thing I am most excited about for the spring here and the summer is top water. I have missed top water so much. And I cannot wait to catch a fish off of top water here. Because that honestly, that is my favorite way to catch bass is off of top water. I love to throw whopper floppers and I love to throw frogs. I used to throw a lot of frogs whenever I lived up there in uh, Vermont. And it was uh, it's pretty productive, especially whenever you're pond hopping all the time. And I had like the kayak and I would just go out and I would fish those and it just absolutely destroyed some bass. I haven't really thrown too many frogs down here. I'm more of like a, a whopper plopper type of person. But I cannot wait to throw some this year. Especially uh, some of the places we've gone. I've already picked out a few spots where frauds are going to be killer here. So that'll be that'll be something for you guys to look forward to. I know everybody loves a good uh, topwater blow up. And also, if you guys have any uh, names for the boat, uh, we are going to let one of you pick the name for it. So leave a comment down below if you're still watching this far. And uh, yeah, let us know what, uh, what you want to name the boat. And we'll pick one a uh, few weeks after this video airs so everybody gets a, a chance to comment on it and gets to have their, their input. Because I, I know some of you guys have been asking me about like what I'm gonna name it and everything and I wanna leave it up to you guys for you guys to pick. And once we get the registration all straightened out with the John Bow, you'll see a lot more videos of it. I'm still getting all that straightened out currently at the moment. So that might take us a little bit, but it's currently being worked on. Hopefully it'll be by the end of the month. We'll, we'll have it all straightened out. Yeah, we, uh, we've been fishing a lot of smallmouth recently just because like they put up a pretty fun fight and, uh, normally you can catch quite a few of them. If you, if you kind of know what you're doing, which we sometimes do, not often, but sometimes. So yeah, we're fishing for smallmouth. We, we will be fishing for some largemouth too. And there, don't get me wrong, there is largemouth in this river. I've caught largemouth here plenty, plenty of times, but recently it's just been smallmouth that I've been catching, especially like right here. And that's the general spot I am standing. Yeah, it's been pretty, uh, pretty productive to fish it here. Especially the Ned Rig. I came to find out the Ned Rig like absolutely just kills it here. I mean, I caught my PB on the Ned Rig down here. Uh, three pounds, six ounce uh, smallmouth. For a river down here, that's, that's pretty good. 
I've also caught one on a square bill. I'll link that right here too. Uh, it wasn't at this section of the river, but it was a, a different section. And yeah, it was my first uh, square bill uh, bass of the season. So if you guys haven't already seen that video, I'll, uh, I'll link it so you guys can watch it. All right, so we're gonna do about five more casts and we're gonna leave here. We're gonna go to meet up with Dylan and Christian and see if we can uh, catch us any more fish. For the day, we're gonna try a new spot. Cause honestly, I feel like there's still smallmouth here, but I feel like there's not as many because I feel like the fish are not as deep anymore. That's why I'm not really throwing it over there. I'm throwing it uh, kind of like along the bank here. It's because that's where I've been catching them, especially near the current over there. So that's why I haven't really been throwing it too deep. I'll, I'll throw it out there once. Oh, well that. It's kind of near the current, but yeah, that's actually a pretty good spot. Just let it float there for a second. All right, guys. So uh, today it wasn't like a blowout, but we still caught a pretty decent uh, smallmouth. I should have got a weight on it, but I'd say it was probably about a pound and a half. Probably not two pounds, but uh, still uh, a smallmouth is uh, a smallmouth, and regardless, uh, can't get upset with catching one. And hopefully uh, we can come back down here and catch some more here in the next few days. Uh, the weather's supposed to be pretty, pretty nice all week. And uh, if you guys haven't uh, seen the video of uh, us building the John boat, and I know some of you have been commenting that you want us to name the boat, and we're going to leave it up to you guys, because I know like a lot of you guys have definitely been asking about it. So... If you haven't already, please uh, drop a comment down below and say what you want to name the boat. And we're going to pick one of uh, your names and we're going to name it that. So, hope you guys enjoyed today. If you haven't already, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And uh, follow us on Instagram, at Bass and Bros, and it's linked down in the description. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.